Hey guys, welcome to this new video. So in this video, we are going to see about uh, spin bowling in standard control. So you know this this was something which people keep asking to make a video on this. So I thought why not make one, and uh, we will be seeing the variations part of you know uh, spin bowling in standard controls. Though you know the depth is not there as much as uh, one would want in comparison with classic controls but i think you have you can have certain strategies certain you know angle and those kind of things to get those wickets and get get those dismissals happening so that is what we are going to see in this video guys so let's get on to a match uh, which we are going to play it's going to be an ipl match basically rcb versus uh, mumbai indians and in that i'll be bowling with yuzvendra chahal for leg spin and uh, with for off spin i am going to be bowling with uh, washington sundar so the basic idea would be here to show the you know the variations part of it uh, which you can do and i will also discuss about the strategies you know like usage of angle and uh, usage of the flight uh, and those kind of things uh, so that you know you can make use of that and uh, maybe get the wickets and uh, you know get those dismissals uh, through the spin bowling so that is what we are going to see is the guys uh, let's get on to that and check it out all right so the basic controls of the spin bowling in standard control is basically selecting the kind of delivery after that you select the length so y is for full length b is for short length a is for good length and x is for yorker length so that is the basic part the initial part of the spin bowling so the next part would be selecting what kind of delivery you want to bowl so you select the delivery line with the left stick and whether you want to bowl a flatter delivery flighted delivery or a flatter delivery flatter delivery you have to press uh, x which is like bouncy delivery i mean as they call it but it's basically a flatter trajectory ball so you will have that extra pace which will go faster to the batsman so that way you can have that variation of flighted and flat delivery so b is for effort delivery to have that extra revolution and for normal standard delivery press a that is the uh, you know the basic setup of the controls so with this we will be seeing what kind of deliveries you can bowl and what kind of strategies we can use with, along with the field set which will be showing as well all right so when it comes to fielding uh, there are two strategies which i think can be used for you know off spinners so basically guys when i say off spinners you can have the same uh, you know off spin strategies for china man type of bowling because that is also ball coming into the batsman from to a right handed batsman from outside off stump so uh, when i say for off spinner have that strategy for china man bowling when i say say it for leg spin have those strategies for left arm orthodox bowling as well all right so uh, let's just uh, see what the field set we can do in the power play because after that if when you have four five fielders it's not an issue but uh, when you are bowling a spinner in the power play you need you know to work with the angles and uh, not give away too many runs so we have to look at those things so that is what we will be looking at initially all right so in this power play there are two strategies i would like to use one is having the mid off deep then having one at uh, extra cover and these kind these will be remain the same uh, backward point then uh, cover cover point and then one one in mid wicket and one deep square leg and the last one will be in leg gully i don't know why that is called leg gully but anyway so that is the field uh, i would like for off spinner so when bowling with this what is my strategy is basically trying to bowl it in front of the batsman not giving him room to hit in the off side so i'll be bowling it to the middle stump or off stump but turning it more when i'm trying to bowl in the off stump line i'll be using that effort delivery to have that extra revolution and the ball turning into the batsman say towards the leg stump or something because if you give that room and it's not turning that much he will hit it towards uh, you know the off side so uh, be careful about that so what i will try to do is go around the wicket not over the wicket around the wicket i will have the middle uh, run up and then in this i will select off break length will be full because see uh, few things i would like to say is when you are bowling in a dry pitch 
try to bowl full always because even that bounces a lot but if you are in dusty pitch only then i would recommend going to even you know good length or short length even short length i usually don't avoid with the spin bowling but if you want to have that variation then maybe you can use the good, good length but good length i would recommend only in grassy dusty or dusty pitches that too if it's medium uh, you know bounce medium and hard hard is like okay but uh, if you it's medium kind of bounce then uh, good length is more uh, better but if it's like dry pitch and medium uh, bounce and hard bounce try to bowl as try to go as full as possible you know always be in that uh, stump line with off spinner uh, i will be talking about another strategy but for this strategy the, the power play strategy where you have deep square leg and deep uh, long on have this this one this angle and we what will be bowling is off break then full delivery then we'll select the angle towards the middle stump see that even that is being hit because it's a dry pitch so what we will do in this is basically bowl off break and we'll select full length and we will go with flighted delivery see that so the person who is there will be able to field we have to be careful about the mid wicket region if you bowl it too much you know in the middle stump they can hit it through the mid wicket region all right so that strategy here uh, with off spin bowling with the certain field is going to be bowling with the flighted delivery on full length at uh, off stump line or middle stump line if you are using off stump line try to use the extra effort delivery because you get the extra spin and you cover the line up pretty well so that he plays it in, you know in the front or in the leg side region but you have to be careful of the mid wicket region because i mean you can get hit in those region as well for that off break full delivery off stump line and extra spin so being in the middle stump line i'll just show the replay there so it will be the, the spin will be there so it's on it's on middle and leg stump see that so you don't get hit in the off side region so that is very important so coming on to top spin so top spin if you see is basically a delivery which goes the other way i don't know why it happens because it's going to be, it should actually be a delivery which doesn't turn as much as off spin but rather in this game it's like something which goes away from the batsman like it's a dusra you know it's like a very small deviation dusra so top spin if you bowl uh, i would uh, usually recommend going again with the full delivery but with a flatter trajectory so go the hit the stump line and flatter trajectory see that because you don't give him that space if he tries to cut you the chance of getting an edge towards the slip cordon or the wicket keeper is very high so that you use for top spin if you are using flighted with top spin maybe if you have a you know fine leg region you know player then you can bowl the bowl the ball in the leg stump line and make him play the pull shot and maybe you can get the wicket that way but when you have the fielder in a certain i mean field set in a certain manner you have to bowl with a you know flighted and flat trajectory in a certain way so so that you execute your plan uh, well so right now we we saw the top spin right so we will bowl one with off spin again and see how that goes all right same thing off spin full length but this time i will use the flat trajectory see that again the flatter trajectory gives him the more doesn't give the air so he has to play in the front foot he can't go and cut it even though it's full but with the flatter trajectory he has the chance to go to go the back foot and even cut you or you know hit the pull shot so those kind of things have those variations going on for you now coming on to leg spinner i will just go with the way the match is going because you know i want to show all the variations and also show the the things you can do to get wickets as well all right leg break same thing so the same strategy is going on here since you are bowling leg spin and the ball is going away from the batsman 
try to bowl it in the leg stump line so that the turn happens and it ends up maybe on the middle stump i mean it might not end up on the off stump because that it, there might not be too much spin but you can bowl the leg spin towards the leg stump line we'll see that and how it goes okay so leg stump slightly and flighted see that see as you can see that though he hit the ball for 6 the ball actually went towards the fielder so in this i wouldn't mind the 6 because we have a chance of getting a wicket if he miss times that all right so that was the leg spin one so leg spin mein uh, the other variations are basically trying to hit a different length so we'll bowl good length in delivery but with flatter trajectory okay so good length flatter trajectory see that so since you bowl the flatter trajectory he cannot go off the back foot and hit you for a you know boundary or whatever so these kind of things these kind of things you have to have it in mind to make use of it in a proper way. because see, if you say if you are hit getting hit for lot of boundaries you know when you are uh, playing with uh, leg spin and bowling it full you have to change the length you know that is that will be there in the mind but what kind of uh, delivery change should be there is is something which you have to see with the variation so the variation comes with the flatter tra trajectory and the flighted delivery so that way you get not only you know a, a ball which is not bouncing as much but you hurry up on the batsman so you know he doesn't get the room to swing his bat so that is the reason i went with good length but with flatter trajectory so that it ends up in the stump line stump height and uh, you know he can't go and pull me or hit me for a six in that delivery because since i got hit in the first delivery you have to be careful in the second one so now what we'll do is go with the top spin okay we'll go with top spin full length and flighted delivery and let's see how it goes okay full and flighted yep. see that yeah. see that so basically trying to set the batsman up to play in a certain way and then getting the dismissal will happen so that way you got a wicket so it's not like if you bowl a leg so i mean leg spin the first delivery then good length in the next delivery with a flatter trajectory and third delivery with a top spin you will get a wicket it's not like that it works like setting up the batsman to play off the front foot or make him stay off the back foot so if he is going off the back foot you bowl it full if he is playing in the front foot and he hitting you for sixes guy try to go a bit short but with flatter trajectory so that he doesn't get the room to cut you because if he, if you bowl a you know flight at good length delivery he can go off the back foot and you know try to cut you i mean loft cut you and uh, play off the back foot pull so those kind of things you have to keep it in mind so strategies and the bowling variations both go hand in hand because you are setting up the batsman to get the wicket so now what we'll do is we'll bowl let me just show you leg spin good length but we'll bowl flight at delivery and we'll, let's see how it goes okay so leg stump and flight see that so what why there was no room for him was basically because i pushed it towards the leg stump line okay but if you bowl it towards the off stump line then he can cut you behind in the due, i mean in the third man region so those kind of things again you have to keep it in mind all right so now what we'll do is we'll bowl a googly full delivery flighted one off stump line all right full and there you go another yeah! wicket <laughs> so basically trying to set the batsman again you give the variation but the next delivery you bowl a different one and that was a slip catch okay that was actually rare thing <laughs> so it's a it's now a left hander so let's see how to bowl to left hander same thing like i will not change the fielding strategy fielding setup whatever but what we will do is what line to bowl is something we will see okay again close to the stumps line 
middle stump middle stump run up like i uh, sorry middle run up that is the one we will go with for this i will go with leg break full delivery flighted one because he is new to the crease so i want to flight the de delivery to make him play let him loft if he is going to loft let him loft if he is scoring of the ball, ball and getting a you know boundary or anything i wouldn't mind it at all because i want him to play so that's the thought behind the delivery so let's just go and bowl that awesome line guys slightly awesome okay and there is that out i think i missed the awesome there all right coming back to off spinner now dusra is something which i don't bowl because you know not everybody can bowl dusra so my point is being realistic in that approach so i don't personally bowl dusra at all unless the bowler can so if i say i mean if uh, say i am bowling with harbhajan singh then i will use the dusra other than that i don't use maybe uh, for ashwin someone like ashwin if he is bowling the you know the, he bowls the caram delivery which goes the other way so maybe you can have that realistic aspect but so let's just you know try to bowl one with dusra and see how that goes because just to show the variation of it again dusra i will go with uh, usually i will go with the flighted approach but since this is t20 format dusra i will go with the flatter trajectory dusra actually i can go to the offside and uh, try to bowl that so okay dusra full and flat see that ball is going towards the place i have the fielder so i don't mind the shot at all if he is slogging it in that region don't mind it at all so coming on to off, off spinner bowling to a left hander same thing the now the angle will remain in the leg stump to make him play straight basically the idea is to make him play straight nothing else all right so off spinner we'll bowl the flighted delivery again because he is new like i said before and flighted see that went up in the air and caught <laughs> so the the approach whenever you bowl a flighted delivery you are basically saying uh, to the batsman that hit it you know go for it so those are the deliveries where you get the wickets but when you are bowling a flatter trajectory delivery what you are making is not giving him room but also not giving him the time to cut you or he, you know slog you so bowl the flatter ones when you are getting you know hit a lot and you don't want to give that you know that time and uh, space to hit the shots so only then you use the flatter trajectory all right so now we will go to the another approach i was talking about with off spinner so in this what i will do is i will have the long off in and i will have deep cover point and deep extra cover so this is a strategy for off spinner all right so two people in now what my approach is basically this will be like flight it too many too many deliveries just flight it flight it flight it to make him slog in the extra cover region but this approach has to be implemented only when you are confident about your bowling why because if you are not bowling the right line he can loft you behind the point region as well so that thing is there guys so be careful of that but we will try it anyways you know we will try to see how it goes so in this approach will be outside of outside of and that is the variation and we'll flight the delivery again because he is new to the crease again the, that's the that's the strategy here all right off spin full outside of and flight the delivery yeah. see that so if he hits the boundary i wouldn't mind that at all because where i have the fielder he is eating it there so don't mind at all but now what i'll try to do is i'll try to do the same thing full delivery but this time i will use the extra spin and that is gone so you are you know bowling it flatter and getting the wicket so that's another strategy which you can use because 
one is flighted you are making him play one is like making making the ball turn but he plays through the wrong line that's all okay let's try with top spin this time top spin what i will do is again i will bowl uh, flighted delivery because make him play make him play so top spin is not something i would use it this time with the with the fielder because top spin is something you bowl it straighter so he will hit it straight a lot but if you want to bowl top spin in such a you know such a field set what you can do is bowl it at like say fifth sixth stump line that way you don't you are not getting uh, him to play in the front because you have only deep mid off mid off and not uh, long on long off if you have long on long off you can definitely bowl the you know the stump line fourth stump line or something and make him play but here what we'll do is we'll bowl the fifth sixth stump line wider and flight it to make him play in the offset all right so offset and flight it see that same thing you make him play in the cover region so that's a strategy whatever field set you have bowl according to that don't you know uh, change the strategy and expect something to happen in a miraculous way so that is the thing i would say here okay so last delivery what we can do is bowl an arm delivery arm ball and uh, for arm ball usually i would recommend the flatter trajectory and uh, the reason is arm ball is basically meant to be bowled faster uh, it's basically not allowing him to have the time to slog but also give him the width so it's like a double challenge for him it's not flighted so he doesn't have the time to uh, loft but on the other hand he has the width there but it's a flat traje trajectory so these kind of combinations you can play along with so arm ball i will bowl full length wide dish and flatter yeah yeah again safe thing but yeah if he plays the boundary i wouldn't mind that at all again those are the things you have to keep in mind you shouldn't think like dude he is hitting me for 6 or he is hitting me for 4 because things happen when you plan them in a certain way all right for leg spin the another strategy for power plays uh, is something i would i would i would not actually have the you know the extra cover point and the extra deep extra cover i will have a different uh, field set for leg spin so what will be that field is basically deep mid off will go towards straight off not long on long off uh, straight off so straight dish thing and deep cover point will come in okay so now the strategy bowl the four stump line because make him play straight so for this again new batsman flighted delivery full one if he sweeps it's fine you have the chance of lbw don't mind those now what i will do bowl the same ball just change the line a bit slightly yeah yeah and that is not caught by anybody all right but that was a wicket guys by the way okay now uh, this delivery what i will try to do is bowl the top spin flatter trajectory full delivery flatter trajectory and again if you get hit don't mind it at all because you are bowling to a strategy some might work some might not all right so now what i can do is leg spin flatter trajectory good length bowl it straighter oh that was missed nice one so like i said why did i change the length because i was getting hit i don't mind getting hit but the thing is you have to change the mindset of the batsman i mean it's an ai it's not going to have those kind of mindsets and stuff but why am i saying it to make the game you know feel like a story to yourself like you are you know making the batsman play in a certain way and you are getting uh, you know a wicket with that strategy you have planned so the ai might not have those kind of aspects but since you are bowling to a strategy you can have that right so that's the reason i am talking about these things so now the batsman has changed so now i'll get back to 
Leg spin, flight it. Full. That is a good shot. That is a good shot. So now we, if we had that fielder in the deep cover point, that might uh, that might be a catch. But even then, I will not change the field because I want to bowl to this field set. I mean, if I want to, uh, you know, bowl in this field set, but try to get a wicket, what I will try to do is bowl the off stump line and try to bowl it straighter. Uh, you know straighter because i don't want to angle it too much to give give him room to play in the mid wicket region i want him to play straight so for that make him bowl in the off stump line or just outside off stump line and make him play straight so we'll just see one or two deliveries for that and uh, i think i have covered almost all the bowling variations and strategies for uh, leg spin and off spin bowling in standard control so just two two three deliveries and we'll just uh, end that awesome plane flight so it was fine again you if you see him he has that uh, smith animation so he will move towards the awesome plane so you have to see that as well since he is gonna move his uh, stance towards the awesome plane if you are Planning to bowl the 4 stump line, try to go 5 stump line because of the stance. If he is like Warner animation or you know other animation where the batsman doesn't have the movement after you know after the ball is bowled, then you stick on to your 4 stump or uh, off stump strategy. But if any is having that head or smith animation where the batsman moves, try to bowl the stump line 1, like 1 after the one you decided so fourth stump if you are bowling bowl the fifth stump line for this so we'll bowl one with that now okay off stump off break outside of slightly and flight it see that so last ball fourth stump line leg side shot fifth stump line try to play in the offside so that is the thing guys so these kind of things like if i talk it will be like one hour video or something so i will just end it here so i hope i covered all the you know the variations which are there uh, in the game for standard controls yes guys the amount of flight delivery and the flatter trajectory can be controlled in a lot more uh, you know depth with a lot more depth in uh, classic controls but uh, since you guys wanted me to create one in standard controls i made this video i really hope uh, you guys found this video useful and if you did please do share it with people you know who who, who play this game and uh, who want to know the details of uh, what can be done what kind of strategies can be used and what are the variations available in the leg spin and off spin guys one thing I forgot to tell during the gameplay was that you need not always bowl in that you know green marker uh, in the me bowling meter. You can bowl in that light green, dark green or even in the orange zone. Just the red zone is like considered a very bad delivery which will be attacked more. But you can uh, use all those uh, you know bowling meters as a variation itself. So if you want to bowl slow, very slow, try to bowl it in that yellow zone because that is like something which you have not executed well so you will bowl a lot slower but ball might not spin as much but yeah you can use those variation as well all right so with that we come to the end of this video guys uh, i i hope i covered up all the variations because see guys the thing is since dbc 14 i have been playing with classic controls and and i am not at all used to you know the uh, standard control i just saw the controls uh, you know in front of you i saw all the stuff which are there and i applied all the variations i use with classic controls basically all the controls you saw all the changes all the variations all the strategies you saw in that video was basically from classic control you know bringing it to standard control so i hope you guys uh, you know found the video useful and uh, if you did please please share it with people guys and uh, like karo subscribe uh, to the channel because you know the growth needs to be there to for content content creators to you know get get that uh, boost and uh, you know keep creating such videos so if you do 
please do subscribe to the channel and also comment in the comment section whether uh, these you know you found these strategies uh, useful because bowling variation it's like a very bunch of uh, stuff which you can do uh, so uh, that way yeah it it is kind of uh, you know a package which you can make use of but strategy wise i think uh, there are certain things which, which you can do uh, to set the batsman up and to get those wickets and uh, to have those strategies and making it work for you so that is that was the point of you know actually playing a match rather than being going in the ground training and bowling so that is the end of the video guys thanks for watching i will see you guys in the next one